Hello everyone, I am Tiffany Starr and you are talking with Tiff. So a few days ago I was about to hop on Twitch and play some Assassin's Creed Valhalla when suddenly I received this YouTube alert. It read, BREAKING! MAGA STORMS CAPITAL! CONGRESS EVACUATED! Now two thoughts came to mind. The first being that Ivor in my settlement will have to wait. And two, I need to cover this unprecedented event. Funny how a lot of unprecedented events happened under Donald Trump's presidency. It's like the universe is screaming at us to never elect a Republican into a position of power ever again. On January 6th, 2021, the party of law and order broke the law to eliminate order. After an instigating speech by Donald Trump, insurrectionists stormed the Capitol with the intent of stopping Mike Pence from certifying the electoral results. Many of them with the intent to kidnap and murder members of Congress, Mike Pence included. This isn't hyperbole. They brought pipe bombs, zip ties, and even a makeshift gallow. These domestic terrorists were shouting, HANG MIKE PENCE! A guy who's on their fucking side. He's anti-LGBT, anti-abortion, enables authoritarians, and yet they still wanted one of their own dead, all because he refused to destroy democracy. These domestic terrorists, aka Trump supporters, they're one and the same now, also stole from the Capitol, including sensitive documents and hard drives. Remember, these are the same exact people who called BLM protesters rioters and looters. Too bad they're too brain dead to understand the irony. Forget about Antifa, Trump supporters should be considered a terrorist organization. Five people were killed during this clown coup, including a woman by the name of Ashley Babbitt. A severely demented Trump supporter who couldn't conceive a rational thought if a life depended- Oh. Oh wait, let's take a look at some of the terrorism that took place, shall we? Here's MAGA supporting their boys in blue! <laughs> oh god! Keep in mind, they crushed an officer to death during this riot. Blue lives matter my ass. Yes, that's right! All of you! Ah, uh, traitors! 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 Here's a guy doing his best Nathan Drake impression. Now, you may notice something vital missing from these rioters. Some form of protection. Some kind of cloth to cover your face with in order to prevent spreading an incredibly dangerous virus. A lot of these Neanderthals are proud to sport their MAGA hats, but they're not proud to sport some fucking facial protection. Credit where credit is due, there are a couple people here that do have masks on, but the majority of them they don't give a fuck. No surprise since MAGA chuds are often anti-mask. Holy super spreader event, Batman. Here's a douchebag carrying a confederate flag inside the Capitol. Probably the most anti-American thing you can display. <laughs> You'll notice that someone wrote murder the media on the door leading into the Capitol. It's almost like there's this huge public figure that keeps telling their supporters that Meteor is the enemy and that they keep lying to them. But I'm sure there's no correlation, right? Oh wait, I actually saw this live when I was doing the stream with Jeff Waldorf. They actually pushed the barriers that were surrounding the media protecting them down and forced media back with not just threats of violence, but actually attacking them and their equipment. Let's see if they show it. Oh shit. Yeah, see, they're knocking their shit over, they're attacking their fucking equipment. That shit's expensive, by the way. Holy fuck. Pushing it over? Holy shit! Look at him. Trying to take off his mask? Fucking animals. Oh my god. They're like a human battering ram. Oh my fucking god! 
support your boys in blue, right, MAGA? Holy shit. Yeah, put the shield over his head. That'll fucking help him, idiot. I mean, it might help him with coronavirus. Put the shield over your face. You don't want to get COVID-19 while your red cage is getting crushed to fucking dust. Be careful, there's Antifa agitators. <laughs> Did you hear that guy? Antifa agitators? <laughs> I'm just letting you all know right now that there's no Antifa agitators here. These are all genuine fucking Trump supporters. They're all just fucking crazy. Keep in mind, people, that Antifa stands for anti-fascist. So why would they join a bunch of fascists to do some fascist shit when they're anti-fascist? <laughs> I mean, what if this coup succeeded? Would the Antifa agitators be like, oh shit, I'm anti-fascist, but I accidentally brought about the end of democracy in a fascist uprising. Oopsies! No, these people are all Trump supporters. And starting to take pictures. A celebratory moment. Holy shit, we just found fucking Waldo. That right there is the Kakistani flag. It's used as a Nazi dog whistle. This is a closer look at it. If you see anyone flying this flag, they're probably a Nazi. These are the kind of people conservatives like Trump and Ted Cruz attract. This is a picture of baked Alaska and Nick Fuentes inside the Capitol during the riot. Both of them are literal Nazis, full-on JQers. And unfortunately, neither of them have been arrested yet. You know, I almost didn't recognize Nick Fuentes here without a catboy dick in his mouth. Remember, if you're a Nazi, the Republican Party will welcome you with open arms. Didn't Baked Alaska livestream inside of the Capitol? Yeah, here it is. Let's listen to this ridiculous, insane rant. They call the U.S. Senate, apparently. Okay. Um, hello. Hello, U.S. Senate. Yes, we have a fraudulent election, I would like to report. Yeah, we need to get our boy Donald J. Trump into office. Yeah, yeah can we do that real quick? Oh, yeah? Oh, thank you! Thank you! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. The memes we'll be making for years because of these fucking imbeciles. The memes galore! They do it for us! We don't even have to make them! This is cringy as fuck for real, though. America first! America first! America first! They're screaming America first here, which is funny because that's also a Nazi dog whistle. The Republican Party just has so many fucking Nazis in it. It's ridiculous. I guess at this point it's Trump's party now. So whatever the far right equivalent to the Republican Party is, which is silly because Republicans are already far right. Whatever. Now, if you comb over a lot of the footage yourself, you'll see that a lot of individuals are wearing QAnon apparel. Which I find kind of hilarious because it's a conspiracy that should have perished as soon as Joe Biden won the election. But these fanatics hold strong. Never underestimate the insanity and the stupidity of a Trump supporter. Now there are some disingenuous Republican figures who are trying to say that a lot of the individuals at this riot were undercover Antifa operatives. Republicans like Matt Gates, who baselessly suggests Antifa is to blame for the mob that Trump started. Representative Matt Gates, Republican Florida, expressed his anger at the perpetrators, but Gates wasn't pointing the finger at fellow Trump supporters. No, no, no. Instead, he suggested members of Antifa infiltrated the group to cause chaos. Lies. Total bullshit. They were all Trump supporters. Yet once again, Republicans failed to bring forth evidence to justify their fairy tale claims. I know of only one person that was there who was not a Trump supporter. And that was my pal, Dylan Burns. Say hi to everyone, Dylan. So I'm here, I'm safe, everything's fun at the moment. I've seen some QAnon flags, Confederate flags. I think I saw the AF America First thing, which I think might be associated with Nick Fuentes. I think someone told me it was, but I'm not sure for sure. Because Trump flags. I'm currently outside the Capitol, and I'm wearing, of course, my lovely Biden Harris. So as you can see here, he's touting his Biden Harris shirt. Not something I would wear to disguise myself as a complete dumb fuck. Oh, sorry, I mean Trump supporter. So again, if someone suggests that Antifa is responsible for that obvious Trump-supporting mob infiltrating the Capitol, 
Don't forget to ask for evidence because they won't be able to provide you any. The thing I love about conservatives is they're so easy to fucking crumble because they either lack facts and data or present verifiably false data. Luckily, a few MAGA terrorists responsible for breaking into the Capitol have been identified and arrested. 69 of them, in fact. <laughs> nice. Josiah Colt, ex-boyfriend to Jesse Dollimore's wife. Whew, looks like she dodged the bullet there. Can't say the same for Ashley Babbitt, though. By the way, be sure to follow Jesse Dollimore at the Dollimore Daily. He's a based bread tuber, like myself, who delivers strong, well-written content. John Schaefer, the guitarist of Iced Earth, was seen inside the Capitol. It's a shame, really, because I actually liked Iced Earth. Maybe it's time they ditch John in favor of a more mentally stable guitarist. Richard Barnett, better known as the guy who put his feet on Nancy Pelosi's desk, and potentially might have been the one to spread feces all over the Capitol walls. Yes, that actually happened. It's literal crazy shit. Anyways, Richard was arrested for being a dumb fuck because he doesn't know how to wear a mask to hide his identity. See, MAGA con this is why Antifa wears masks. So people can't dox us and discover who we are and where we work. Speaking of which, look at this moron. Bradley Ruxdales, CEO of marketing at Cogentia. Hopefully former CEO now that he's been arrested. Alright, let's do one more. Adam Johnson, the man seen carrying House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's lectern during the Capitol siege. He has also been arrested, which is awesome. There he is right there at the top. Looking so happy, he doesn't look like he's smiling now, does he? <laughs> Listen up, MAGA losers. Time for one of Tiffany Starr's pro strats. If you're going to try and overthrow democracy, try not wearing your name badge. I know we're having a bit of fun here shitting on Trump's incompetent base, but we can't forget that this was a coup attempt. And while it was a complete and utter failure, this could have been a game changer for the entire country. A few friends in the right places, Congress not being evacuated in time, who knows what could have happened. It's scary shit. These domestic terrorists genuinely believed that their actions that day would trigger a political shift, leading to Trump's second term. That's why I've said time and time again on here and Twitter that conservatism will always lead to fascism. To have the conservative mindset to believe in the things that they believe means to be anti-democracy and a danger to society. We have to obliterate the Republican Party legislatively. Make mail-in voting permanent. Abolish the Electoral College. Get money out of politics. This country can survive if these people are allowed to flourish and obtain positions of power. The amount of propaganda being poured into social media by the right wing is poisoning the minds of Americans with lies, especially our kids. I even showed you the rioters wrote murder the media on the Capitol door. Something needs to be done. We need more leftists to run for office. And I mean real leftists, not liberals. While I am hopeful for 2021, it's shit like this that has me worried. Keep an eye out on January 20th. They may try this shit again. Thank you for watching, everybody. Stay safe. If you like my content, please subscribe and like. It helps me a lot. And as a reminder to conservatives, Joe Biden is your president. So suck it. <laughs>